I'm going to watch very carefully and see if Donald Trump pops up to build the casinos in Chicago. Now the Rowan Manual is there, another tall building in Chicago. I'll be there investigating the connections with the White House and what deals Wink Wink went back how far. I don't trust it at all. Uh, you don't You don't trust a, a guy that owns a bunch of casinos? Everybody knows those are the good guys. Look, I also want to show you, we found, I, and you focused on the the stamp of the Alvin Onaka stamp. I want just a quick, simple way to, to show people how comical this fraud is. You know, I, I showed that the stamp, state registrar stamp, has a misspelling in it. Instead of the record, it's TXE record. Now, nobody uses a stamp with a misspelling in it. And then if you blow up to about 800% and look at the signature, Alvin T. Onaka, in the A, there is a smiley face. Now, I assure you, I've looked out at hundreds of Alvin Onaka signatures, the hundred stamps. None of them have a misspelling, T-X-E, and none of them have a smiley face in the A. But, sir, that's my next point is that they took it and put it on this green paper. The APs put out two different versions that don't have the green hash paper. Uh, you've got uh, you know, the situation where it's clearly a computer copying a typewriter, but we already knew that and said that three weeks ago in our video with 700,000 uh, views on YouTube because you can blow up the pixelation of the typewriter print and the pixelation of the same letters is identical. That's impossible with the typewriter because every new strike is like a snowflake or a fingerprint because it's how hard you hit the key, how it strikes the ribbon, the position of the paper. There's little, when it's blown up, microscopic uh, uh, ink blobs are around it. You can't have identical same letters that is only done by a computer that's designed to have fonts that look like typewriters. Well, and you know, when the administration will not show the original, 1961, there weren't any computers, where is the original paper birth certificate, if it exists, submitted to forensic analysis? I was in Hawaii last week. I went to see it. No one in the Hawaii Department of Health would talk to me. I went over to Kapiolani Hospital. I said, okay, if Ann Dunham was here, I'd like to see the patient records for Ann Dunham. I've known for years they don't exist. Ann Dunham was never a patient of that hospital. The hospital threatened if I didn't vacate the premises, they would call the police. Now, if I were administrator of that hospital, I'd have a little shrine in the front celebrating that this was the birth hospital of the president instead of continuing the cover-up by refusing to answer any questions as far as providing to the public the corroborating evidence that Ann Dunham had been in that hospital to give birth to Barack Obama. Uh, let's look at the computer uh, manipulation uh, of the text. You have an article on Wellnet Daily about that. Yes, well, when you take a look at the text of this thing and you, and you blow it up, first of all, I mean, you can even start with the number on the upper right, the 10641, which, by the way, is an out-of-sequence number and impossible. When you blow it up and look at it, the one is clearly a JPEG, a photograph dropped in there, and the pixelization around the one shows the attempt to not repair it very well. So it's still obvious. Whoever did that did not understand how to repixelate. And it's clear that the one is a JPEG and the rest of the number is not. Now, 10641 is impossible to be Barack Obama's birth certificate number. Obama was registered on August 8th, and that, when he was registered on August 8th, the number was stamped with an old one of the increment by number counters, 10641. The, the Nordyke twins were born a day later in the hospital, August 5th. They were registered three days later, August 11th, and they were given numbers 10637 and 10638. It's impossible because that counter does not reverse, and three days earlier registered, Obama would have had to have a lower number, maybe by 20, from the Nordyke twin. So the number itself, going back to the short form, was fraudulently, was they miscalculated, they got the wrong number, they were stuck with that number, so the number is also wrong in the long form birth certificate. And then there's not the proper stamp that all the others have, I mean, there's over there's 50... No seal. Uh, uh, no seal. No seal. Uh, uh, then uh, here's the $64 million question. Why did they put out such a clearly shoddy version? Not just the layers 
because you do have some layering uh, in these different computer programs like Illustrator. But what the computer then witnesses is if the computer sees the six, seven, eight, nine different layers, it sees the manipulation and then automatically sorts it. The, 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 the biggest issue here, and, all, and, and what all the Photoshop people in my office and outside groups have pointed out, is that normally with a scan you would have one gradient of pixelation. Instead, it is a cornucopia of different areas with high res over low res. I mean, this, uh, I don't believe that they could be this shoddy, is what I'm saying. Well, I think, you know, Alex, if you're the president, you want to forge your birth certificate, you can't put out a request for a proposal and get the best guy in the country to come do the job. They were stuck with the guys who were close to them. And I'm pretty well on the trail of linking the characteristics of this document to someone who's going to have a lot of explaining to do. And I think that when you see what I'm about to point out next week, we're hot in the trail of somebody who may have had a hand at that. Now, now, Dr. Corsi, let me just stop you there because you offered during the break, you said, I think I may break who this person is on your show. And I was like, uh, first tell us some of the proof and, and, and take us on the trail close to the person of interest. I'm just going to give you the hint because I want to, I got to, I don't want to give it too far away, but there are characteristics in the uh, long-form birth certificate as it's released and in the work of another person where signature items were put into the certificate of live birth to identify the forger. And uh, the forger is someone who does not work in government. He works in the media and is close to the administration and would have been within the circle of friends that may have been called on to do the um, the forgery or participate in the forgery. 